The bun has disappeared today. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out a bunch of Primark makeup as well as Primark brushes. Like two months ago I went and did a massive shop in Primark and it wasn't for clothes, it was just for makeup stuff because I really wanted to film this video. Basically I have got a whole bunch of Primark makeup in front of me and I'm going to test it out on camera with you guys. I've got everything from primer all the way down to like lip liner and also they stock lashes in there. Like am I really late to the party or have they always done lashes? Like every time I go into Primark I'm like oh they do sweets, oh they do Carmex. Like it's really weird whenever I go in there because I end up picking up the most random things. But enough of me rambling. So I have already moisturized my skin and I'm gonna go in with this stay all day primer and it was three pounds. <laughs> Let's see how this performs but it says that it extends the wear of makeup. It soothes, no, it smooths skin to create the perfect base for makeup. I'm just gonna be doing this hot, oh hello little cover. I am genuinely going in with zero expectations with this makeup but it looks like this. It just looks like moisturizer actually. Smells kind of funny. Ooh, it's kind of thick. So I got my brows touched up, which is why they're looking really dark. But if you guys don't know, I've um, recently got them microbladed and I never went for my top up. This is what I'm left with. So I'm trying to like avoid putting too much makeup around. It feels really thick, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain because I do like a good like moisturized base. Surprise, surprise, Primark do color correctors. This one was one pound 50. And this looks like a pretty good like salmon toned color corrector. So I'm gonna try it underneath my eyes. Why does it look like really not peachy? Weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend this away. It does look a little bit like not salmon-y on my skin, but I mean, it's color correcting. I think they did also have like a green and a purple, but I didn't pick them up because I mainly use salmon colored correctors unless I have like a spot or anything that I need to color correct. Wow, this looks really thick and it does feel quite thick. I can tell that I've got a whole bunch of stuff under my eyes. Ugh. I really hope this video goes well, otherwise it's gonna be a massive fail. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go in with foundation. I picked up three shades of this liquid foundation. I think they were like £2.50 each. I'm gonna try not to complain too much if it's really stinking bad. But then again, it could be stinking good. Who knows? <laughs> I've got the shades here. Cool Sand, Chestnut, and Warm Beige. I don't know which one to go with. Let's try Warm Beige to begin with. I think the others might be a little bit too light or dark. Everything is well sealed. It looks a little bit pink. I'm gonna mix a little bit of cool sand into that. Ah! If I mix the two, we might be able to get away with it. So I'm just gonna get some of this. I was so happy to see a like beauty blender sponge thing. It looks and feels very similar to my Tarte one that I have, which is this one right here. I know it's dirty, but it legit feels the same. It smells really weird. I'm just gonna dot this all over my face and then I'm gonna pray to the foundation gods that this looks good. It's not the most yellow undertone, but I'm just gonna like blend it away and hope that it doesn't look too pink. I really, really like this sponge. Like I'm actually genuinely really impressed with this sponge. This for me, I think is better than the Real Techniques one, just because it doesn't seem like it's soaking up too much product. But this foundation, man, this is so pink. And I believe this is like a couple of pounds, so it's super, super, super affordable. But I also picked one of these up and I just realized that I have this. So I'm gonna test the rest of this side with this brush. Ooh. This brush feels good. It's very, very similar to the Artiste ones actually, but it's very plasticky. It's not as like sturdy. Like I can imagine this isn't gonna last very long. But again, I think this was a few pounds. Apart from the fact that I look like Mr. Blobby because my skin looks so pink, it's blended out really well. 
I actually like this and the sponge. I've got two different concealers here. This one is an Instant Fix Concealer Crayon. This was £2. And this is the Concealer Palette, which is £3. And this has three cream concealers and a pressed powder. This guy right here has got some, like, condensation on it. I don't know, there's some, like, weird water bubbles on the top and that kind of puts me off using it so I'm going to go in with this which is the instant fix concealer crayon and I am just gonna highlight my face oh god my face feels very very thick God, I really hope this works out. Okay, so I've got some more of these brushes right here. I think I'm gonna go in with this slightly smaller one. Just hope for the best. Oh wow, this is thick. I know I love my concealer, but whoa. This feels very, very strange. I'm having to like tug up my skin just to blend it out, which I don't really like to do, but I'm doing it for the tube. Oh my god, I actually look a little bit ghostly. Oh, we can fix this, you guys, we can fix this. I think it's the foundation underneath which is not helping the situation because everything feels so thick. I'm gonna try and save the situation by using the beauty blender type thing. Oh my god, someone help. This is actually taking my foundation off underneath. So far the only thing that I've liked is this and these brushes. Just putting that out there. Seeing as we have this kind of like banana-y shade right here, I'm gonna try and set all the places that I have concealed and highlighted. And I'm using this double-ended brush, which again is from Primark. And I believe all the brushes were no more than like two pounds each. So quite affordable. And you know what? The brushes aren't actually that bad. I'm quite surprised. Okay, I think I've fixed the situation as much as I could. I'm hoping when we contour, everything is gonna be fixed. We can fix this, you guys. We can fix this. Gonna keep it real with you guys. Uh, I look like really powdery and my face feels really thick. I picked up these contour kind of kits. This one is two pounds bargain and these were like three different like highlighting and contouring kind of sticks i don't really understand these one of them looks like an olive green but the other two are like relatively brown shades i'm gonna stay clear of the cream products because i'm not really feeling it on my face so i'm gonna go in with this contour kit right here and this looks pretty good oh there's actually an even better yellow toned powder in here which let's try and see if we can save the situation right, i'm gonna take that i'll put that underneath my eyes Okay, that looks a little bit better. It's looking very yellow, but better than nothing. This has actually got a really, really nice cool toned kind of brown shade to contour with. So I'm gonna dig straight in and I'm not getting too much pigment from it, but let's see what it looks like on the skin. Oh wow, that's actually not that bad. Ooh, me likey. It's actually really easy to blend. I'm pleasantly surprised with this little kit and it looks like the Smashbox contour kit. It's not the most pigmented contour kit, but I can't really complain for like two pounds. Let's see if I can contour my nose using this little brush right here. Uh, maybe I should have just left it. I actually think it's such a shame that they don't have any yellow toned like base products because if my base wasn't looking so pink right now I wouldn't actually be mad at this base because it didn't actually cost a lot to put together but I mean there's nothing I can do about that apart from move on to sculpting this was four pounds this is the sculpt and blush kit this was the only thing that I could find which had a blush in it but this is kind of like a bronzy shade so I'm just gonna go and add some bronzer to the perimeters of my face because we did obviously contour but I just want to try and warm my skin up a little bit more because it's looking quite ashy. <laughs> One thing I've got to say, these brushes are really doing it for me. I'm going to take this pink shade right here. Whoa! Thank God I didn't... Everything came off! What the heck? Let's try that one more time. Okay, that's a little bit better. That was weird. 
I'm just gonna put this on to my cheeks. I thought this was gonna be like a sleek dupe. I mean, can you even just dupe sleep? It's very, very powdery. I want to use the highlight shade in this, but I actually picked up this strobing kit, which was four pounds, and there are three different strobing shades. I have literally just opened this, so I'm gonna swatch this with you guys and see whether or not this is any good. So I'm gonna take the first shade right here. Oh my god, have you seen that? I mean, it's quite powdery, but let's see what it does on my hand. Ready? That is pretty pigmented. Pretty powdery. I'm gonna try like the most goldy shade, which is the middle shade. See what's going on. Okay, again, quite powdery, but it's not too bad. And then the last shade, which kind of looks like a weird contoury shade. It's not the most pigmented, but I'm gonna mix these two together, I think. Believe it or not, this kit actually came with a brush. So I'm gonna use the brush with it and see. Whoa, okay, maybe I don't like it that much. I put the brush in here once and look at all that fallout. I feel like every time I'm tapping anything, it taps all the product off. Can you guys see that fallout? Let's hope this gives me a glow. That's pretty. It's super powdery on my cheeks. That's not too bad. This powderiness is really annoying me because I feel like I've used half of the palette and I haven't because it's just come out in powder. Ooh. I'm gonna see if this shade works any better and I'm gonna use this kind of like duo fiber brush. Again, it's quite powdery, but let's see if we can make it more intense. That's probably better. I don't know how I feel about any of these products so far. Nothing apart from the brushes has blown me away. The contour palette actually was pretty good for the price. I genuinely think this is as good as the base is gonna get. I will show you guys a close up at the end so you guys can see exactly what it looks like up in my grill. But for now, we are gonna move on to eyes. So they didn't actually have any eyeshadow primer and I was initially gonna use this, the uh, concealer fix stick thing. But after what it did to my under eyes, I'm gonna just put that aside. And I'm just gonna hope for the best that these eyeshadows are somewhat decent. I picked up these two palettes right here. They're both £2.50 each. They are very diddy, very cute. This one's all matte. And this one is the Nine Shade Eye Palette. This is a mixture of, actually, no, they're all shimmers and this one's all mattes. So the eye brushes that I picked up are, oh, one of them is broken. That's okay, I'm not gonna use that one anyways. So I did pick up some eyeshadow brushes. I'm gonna take this fluffy one right here and I'm gonna work on the crease first. I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades right here. And this is from the Mattes palette and I'm gonna work those into my crease. And this is using like an angled crease brush. Let's see how extravagant we can go with these eyes. I was gonna do a full on smoky, but it's not really showing up. It's showing up a little bit, but nothing too crazy. These are not blending out very well. The more I'm blending, the more it's hurting my eyelids. I'm gonna add this shimmery shade right here. I'm not gonna hope for a miracle. There's like nothing coming off. How is this possible? There's legit nothing on my eyelid. Like nothing. I'm gonna try this shade now on this corner and see if that shows up instead. Again, nothing. It's like falling off my eyelid. I have officially retired the shimmer palette and we're gonna move on to just using the mattes. I'm gonna take this like reddish shade right here and see if I can do anything with that. Not the most pigmented, but we can make this work. I have an update on where those shimmery shadows went. They went onto my top. Like I legit have eyeshadow all on my top. Let's see if we can smoke this bad boy out and make it look a little bit more glam. This officially has to be the worst eyeshadow look I have ever done. These eyeshadows, I just feel like aren't even worth £2.50. There are so many good brands out there already. This is just taking the piss a little bit. Like. They're not even blending properly, and when I do, they're kind of like blending into nothing. There were actually a ton of mascaras to choose from, but I picked this one because of the name, False Slash Effect, and this was £2.50. For some weird reason, I feel like there's not even that much product on the brush itself, but let's see if this does anything to my lashes. Let's see if this actually gives me a false lash effect. It's lifted them a little bit and separated them. 
but I wouldn't say it's very false lashy. Do you know what? For £2.50, it's not that bad. It's not like the worst mascara that I've ever tried. It has actually like lifted my lashes and like separated them and fanned them out. Now we have this £1 coal and I'm gonna tight line my upper waterline. It's not the creamiest, but it's doing the job. I've decided I want to cover this eyeshadow up as much as I possibly can. So to do that, I'm gonna do a big wing and I am definitely gonna put these lashes on as well. I picked up three liquid liners. There's one here which is the felt tip liner, which I feel like is too thick of a nib for me to wanna use. And then I also have this liquid liner here, which is the one that comes in like a little brush. And I have this fine liner pen. All of these were like a pound or one pound fifty each, but I think I'm gonna go in with this one, which is the liquid liner. Let's see how we can hide this eyeshadow up with this. Oh, this is pretty smooth. It's very black and it's surprisingly quite easy to use. Come on, wing, don't fail me. Hmm. I like that, I like that quite a lot. It's actually a matte black as well, which I love when it comes to liquid liners, because I don't like the ones that are quite shiny, I like them to be quite matte, so this one I'm quite liking. This like eyeliner is like really stiff. I can feel like the skin around my eye and it's like definitely drying quite like solid and it's kind of making my eyelid quite stiff. Although my skin feels like a little bit tight where I've put the eyeliner, I actually quite like it. It'll be interesting to see how, like, how it lasts. If you guys follow me on Instagram Live or Snapchat, then I will update you guys on that. But now I'm gonna add some lashes. I'm gonna put some glue onto these. Let's see if this comes with a glue. Oh! So it does actually come with some glue and I believe these are the style Fantasy. They look very similar to the Ardell Demi Wispies and they are three pounds. And I just noticed there's some cute little unicorns on the side. Let's hope for the best for these. I'm gonna quickly do these off camera because you guys have seen me do this. I feel like that eyeshadow looks so much better now that it's like hidden. But I am gonna smoke a little bit of this brown just underneath my eyes to balance it out. Otherwise they're gonna look a bit naked down there. I almost forgot mascara on the lower lashes, so I'm just gonna quickly add some of that on there. So at my body shop meetup last week, there was a girl and she was wearing the most beautiful lipstick. And I was like, oh my God, what lipstick are you wearing? And she was like, it's just a Primark like lip liner. I'm pretty sure she said it was lip liner. I have got a ton of lip liners here. By a ton, I actually mean like loads. Like I have so many. I can't actually wait to swatch some of these and show you guys because I have high hopes. I really, really have high hopes of these. So you have this range right here with the black handle and these are just the ps lip liner pencil and these are a pound but then they also do these ones right here which have a white handle and these are called the insta girl kiss proof lip liner pencil and these are one pound fifty a part of me just wants to try these but i will swatch a couple of colors from this range as well and i hate the like wrapping that they do on this because it's so difficult to get into So I'm gonna swatch these four colors here, very like similar-ish, but like they're the colors that I would wear the most. These two here are just the normal lip liners. You've got this one here, which is called Toffee, and this one called Desert Land. They are quite pigmented, but they feel quite like waxy when I was putting them on, and they are smudging as well. So um, they're not exactly a kiss proof. But now I am gonna test these two out here. So these two are the kiss proof ones here. You have this one, which is called It Girl, and this one called Nude Selfie. And Nude Selfie, oh my God, I would wear this like all the time, alone, like by itself. But I'm gonna leave these on here and see if they smudge once we've done our lips. So I think I'm just gonna do a lip liner all over the lips. Actually, before I decide whether or not I just want to wear a lip liner by itself. I do have a lipstick here and this is called Naked. It was £1.50 and just look at this shade. Let's see uh, what it looks like. Oh, look how beautiful that color is. Let's go with that as well. I'm actually gonna go in with It Girl. These are so super creamy. I could actually wear it as a lipstick. That's for sure. These are so creamy that I've almost used like the whole of this like nib up. How pretty is this colour? <gasps> but do you see what I mean? Like, I've just used up the whole of, like, the little nib. So this would basically need a sharpen every single time I use it, but 
the color is really stunning. I am gonna go on top with this Naked lipstick. Wow, that's actually really comfortable. The lip liner underneath has definitely made like a barrier and I don't see this moving for a while. But wow, that color is really, really nice. I would actually wear that a lot. Now it's time to do the rub test for these two and see whether or not they are kiss proof. They do smudge. I don't know, I wouldn't call them like sticky, but they're kind of like, they've definitely got like a barrier, if you know what I mean. Like they would be waterproof, I reckon, if I was to put any water on here, but they're not like smudge proof. I'm gonna cheat a teeny tiny weeny little bit, just a little bit, and I'm gonna put some setting spray on my face because I cannot handle how powdery and cakey my skin is looking. So I'm gonna take my Lumen Le Hardy, I think that's how you say it, and this is basically a facial mist, and I'm just gonna, wait, totally sprayed that not on me, but, right, I've just sprayed that all over my face to see if I can save my skin. So we have come to the end of this video and I'm just gonna give you a recap of what I thought. The primer I actually quite liked. The foundation and concealer was pants. I did not like it at all. That made my skin look so pink and so cakey and so dry. The contour kit, however, this one right here, which was two pounds, wasn't bad at all. And it reminds me of a Smashbox kit for literally a fraction of the price. That I was quite pleased with. It wasn't the most like pigmented, but it did do a good job at kind of saving what was happening to the rest of my base. The sculpting kit, which had the bronzer, the highlight and the blush, it was okay. It wasn't anything great, but anytime I tapped off the excess blush, basically everything disappeared from my brush. And the same goes for the eyeshadows. They were such a waste of time. And I hate doing videos like this, but there were certain things that I did like. Mascara for one, it was only two pounds and it did a fairly decent job at like separating my lashes and kind of lifting them. This is actually called the false lash effect, which I don't think it should be called that. It should be called like the lift and separate mascara because that's what it did for my lashes. But I was able to save what was going on with the eyeshadow with these falsies. These I actually think are a dupe for the Ardell Demi Wispies. They are almost exactly the same shape, but they're three pounds, which I think is super cheap for lashes. Like three pound lashes? Like can you even get red cherry lashes these days, which are three pounds or less. The eyeliner I really like. It does still feel like a little bit tight on my eyelids, but I've kind of got used to that feeling. I am filming this quite late at night. Um, otherwise I would do like a catch up with you guys, but this is more of like a first impressions, do I like the makeup or not kind of video. What else did I like? Ah, I loved the lip products, the lip liners, and even the lipstick. I was actually genuinely impressed with the lipstick. For a pound, like you cannot go wrong. Look at that. That color is so stunning. And last but not least has to be the brushes and the sponges. This sponge is pretty much exactly the same as my Tarte sponge. I am gonna be picking some more of these up because I feel like if I traveled with these and like, and even if I forgot them there where I was traveling, like I wouldn't be mad. But if I left like my beauty blender somewhere, which is like 15 pounds, I would be mad. The foundation was so bad, but this actually helped it make it look like somewhat decent. And again with this brush as well, so soft. These are very similar to the Artiste brushes and the Iconic London brushes. However, they are a little bit flimsy. So I wouldn't say that they're gonna last you a heck of a long time. But then the other brushes in general, like, they were actually pretty damn decent. But I'm pretty sure the most expensive one was like two pounds. Hell yes to the brushes. But that, you guys, is the end of this rather weird video, which I actually didn't like a lot of the stuff for. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Please let me know if you guys have any suggestions on any Primark makeup products that are actually somewhat decent that I should check out. But now you guys do know some of my favorites from the range, but I would love to know whether you guys have tried any Primark makeup before and if you have, what your favorite product is. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video Video. excuse my face and just how bad the base looks like I just cannot wait to get this off my face I guess that's all for now I hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what other brands you want me to do like first impressions on and yeah I guess I will see you all in my next video bye